infectious disease MPOX has been declared a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization. The disease, formerly known as monkeypox, has spread rapidly across Central and East Africa since the start of the year. The initial outbreak was in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has now registered 15,600 cases since the start of the year and more than 500 deaths. Health officials say the new strain of MPOX may be the most deadly yet. Joe Inwood reports. It starts with flu-like symptoms and ends with this. This is what MPOX, which used to be called monkeypox, can do. Here in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the virus is common, but it's spreading. It's transmitted by physical contact or through the air. Five-year-old Sandrine has now recovered, but it was a terrifying moment for her mum. She had a high fever and then she started to get lesions on her body. She had rashes on her arms, on her abdomen and even on her tongue. I'd been told it was a serious illness that could kill her, so I took her to the hospital. Although it can be sexually transmitted, in the crowded camps of the Eastern DRC, most of the patients are children. So far, we have 130 suspected cases and half of them under five. Just 5% are adults. The most common way to get infected is direct contact from a sick person. And in the camps, children, they play together. The latest outbreak has killed 450 people in the DRC. It seems a new variant called Clade 1B is more virulent and more dangerous and it's now been detected in neighbouring countries, including Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda and the Central African Republic. And so the World Health Organization has declared a global health emergency. It's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. A public health emergency of international concern is the highest level of alarm under international health law. It is possible to vaccinate. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Just by giving our blood and praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushab, Hashem, Chacharas, and the brother Amor for the answer before from the camp from of Babylon. Come on, the quick hit to the spirit by Hashem, Yahushai. Lord went to edify and feed the sheep. Debbie said I was an apostle, great millstone, teach you a well. Peace and blessing to the brothers who pushing this work into sincerity to this guy abroad. <clears throat> no, no, but I'll make this too long. All right, but just touching up on this topic that recently, there's been a discussion all right, going on about a Esau man all right, coming out and speaking on another, uh, you know, public health emergency, man. All right, and now they're saying this is going to be national concern, all right, which, uh, you know, this was uh, brought brought out by the, the HWO, all right, which is known as um, the World Health Organization, man. All right, the director general was speaking about these things. All right, concerning what was going on over there, I believe South Africa. All right, which you can see in the video. All right, the harmful effects um, the, of these things. Okay, of the M pox, I should say, which is known as the monkey pox, man. All right, low willing they don't take this video down. All right, but low willing edify. Uh, you know, the edification still goes out. And uh, you're being edified. All right. But this is, uh, you know, we're in some serious times. And seeing this, all right, just shows you that the Lord is um, shaking this place up even more. All right. Knowing that uh, you see these things where plagues all right, are, are being pushed out more. And this could be another, you know, thing of Esau pulling some type of psyop. All right. All right. Of deception. But at the same, um, same time, you know, the scripture says, all right, to not be ignorant of a, a little thing or a small. Matter of fact, let's grab it. All right, we're just gonna jump right into it. <clears throat> All right. Because see Esau, you know, they, they know how to seize the opportunity. All right, when when the per when the time is perfect. And you just had, you just had that situation with the whole uh, C-19, man. All right, and how that had a left turn, okay, from how they directed it and how they shifted it, man. All right, that left many uh, of millions of people, okay, in uh, in the sense of in sort of stress, man. 
All right, because a lot of these people are trusting in, in the, uh, these oppressors, man. All right, especially our people, we saw Edom, um, you know, as oppressed our people, man. All right, which is talking about what? You know, you jakes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man. Esau has oppressed our people by using these different type of methods, man. All right, which they have went down to these devils for. But let me grab this right here. Um, let me see. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, known as uh, Sirach chapter 5, verse 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So seeing that this World Health Organization has made this thing a, a public health emergency of national concern and something that is on a major scale that the scriptures tell you not to be ignorant of, man. Uh, because eventually Esau could use this to his advantage and make this go just like he did with the C-19, man. All right, which, you know, Esau knows how to manipulate the, the the things to his uh, advantage, all right. Which is you, you you know you have social media and, and these different platforms, all right. He he he's so he can do it once he will do it again, man. All right. Which you seen in the video you had a um, they showed that it could be airborne, um, it could be uh, a flu like symptoms, all right. Same similarities today, you know mentioned that the whole C nineteen uh, C nineteen has similarities too, you see? Now uh, you have it where they're making it such a, a brightly national concern where you had it where you had the devil, Bill Gates, man, speaking about where he was saying that there's gonna be a potential, uh, another emic, man, all right? You just put the plan with the emic, you, got it, you get the picture. So now you have this worldwide bride being pushed of this impox Okay, um, all of a something, man, you know, and you had different varies of, of, of things coming out. All right. You saw, you know, playing on how he could use the next thing uh, to his advantage. And so far he has, um, you know, mastered up. All right. To lead into this map, uh, you know, monkey pox or impox uh, of, a, of a situation, man, you see. So, you know, you have it where, all right, it's a potential uh, 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 thing that he could do this, man. He could do this thing again, you see, which, hey, we know, as scriptures tell us, um, you see, matter of fact, you know, before I grab the scripture, I want to grab this right here because I actually went to the World Health Organization, the website, to look more further into it. All right. And it read, uh, it says HWO director general declares MPOX outbreak, a public health emergency of international concern. And it reads the uh, World Health Organization. All right. Uh, general Dr. So like I'm going to explain a lot. All right, it says World Health Organization Director General Dr. Tedros, all right, if I'm pronouncing that right, has determined that the upsurge of impacts in the, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or Congo and a growing number of countries in Africa uh, constitutes a public health emergency of international concern, which is known as the P-H-E-I-C, which is Public Health Emergency of an International Concern. And it's saying that, they, uh, you know, this is uh, something that's being pushed out there now, okay? And they bring it to the concern of these individuals, okay, who are in charge or play a part, okay, um, and, and ties of, of taking on this position, man. Okay, of this emergency situation. And it says under the international health regulation. So those individuals, which is uh, the IHR. Okay. So these individuals are, are, are playing a part in it. And these people step in, okay, to tackle on uh, these 
major internationals um, situations, okay? And, 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 and they're in cahoots or partnership or under what you would say the, the, the World Health Organization, man, okay? In other words, it has some type of ties to them. It says, Dr. Teros, they're, uh, let me see. It says, Dr. Teros, declaration came on the advice of an IHR, which is the International Health Organ uh, Regulation, emergency co uh, committee, it says, of independent experts who met earlier in the day to review data pres president, president by experts from the World Health Organization and affected countries, the committee informed the director general that it, it concerns the upsurge of impox to be a pretty much public health emergency international concern. And it reads on, and I ain't gonna read all of it, you know, you can go in there and you can see it for yourself, but just read it on, it says, with potential to spread further across countries and Africa and possibly outside the continent. So, you know, they pretty much telling you like, look, you know, this is major. And they, this was another thing that had a similar effect to this was what we just went through for the last four years, man. Okay, if it's not three, it was four years. And shit, to this day, we're still dealing with it. And they're saying that this uh, impox, all right, ha has had cases over 15,000, man. Okay, and deaths of, what, 500 and something in deaths, man. So it's a, a thing that continually is progressing. And like I said before, man, this is a thing that Esau could use to his advantage, okay, and seize the time where he, 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 he finds fit for it. Or this could be a, a, a distraction, all right, for something else that he's planning on doing, all right, because you know that uh, you have it where this uh, World Health Organization, you know, they all ties with, uh, you know, the, 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 the World Economic economic form you know they they all got they all got some type of ties with each other man okay which is a part of these agendas that they're um partaking in okay and and, and, and they're putting it to play all right as the scripture says matter of fact i can grab that all right so like if i'm you know kind of you know spirit flooring you know everywhere you know um let me grab that this is micah chapter uh, Two, verse 1 it says woe meaning destruction to them that devise iniquity and really ultimately Esau Edom is you know you know the so called white man these devils is in power right now that's behind the closed doors these elites these high high upper families and banking families alright destruction is going to come to them man alright through our Lord man how shy okay through the spirit and prayer of Hashem how shy destruction is going to come to them for the devising okay these iniquities man all right, they're orchestrating it. They're putting it to play, as the scripture leads on to say. It says, uh, Micah 2, 2 and 1, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. So this is something that you're seeing being put to play, all right, as they already have pre-thought about it, you see? And it, as it, it said in the, um, as it said in the, uh, the article, it said, who met earlier in the day, Okay, to review data. So the, this is something that was already been talked about, man. You know, they already been speaking about it. And they probably been speaking about it before that. Okay, years out before that. This is the works and deception of Esau Edom. All right, before he puts it out there into public or to the, to the media or, or to the masses of the people. Okay, believe it or not, the scriptures speak on how he's the wicked that ruled the earth today. Okay, they're putting these things to works. It says, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So because they have the power to do so these things to determine what is a public health uh, concern, you know, because they have the power to do so, they know how to manipulize it. They know how to use it to their advantage. OK, now you over there, you think about over there what's going over there in South Africa or even Africa itself. You got this guy, Bill Gates. 
okay, Billy Gates, whatever you want to call him, who's always going over there and other, con- uh, not countries, but other countries, all right, and, 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 and stirring up shit, man. You know, he's, uh, you know, when he does his presentations or when he goes to these venues, he's always talking about some type of uh, form of depopulation, all right, which is a part of the Georgia Guidestones, which Esau has set up according to his agendas. And he's a, uh, uh, you have this guy, uh, Bill Gates, okay, who's a puppet to these elites, all right, who's being used to furthermore push, which ultimately they want to lead to uh, uh, that NWO, which that has a form of uh, regulating, all right, the society, man, which it, it, the list goes along with that, all right, but he's a, he's a puppet within uh, a chess piece, man. And, and, and he's doing his part. So when you see things like that over there in Africa, all right, he's been having his hands put in that piece of pie for quite some time, man. Okay? Which leading back to when you see all these uh, uh, spreads of diseases and sicknesses and chemicals and, and et cetera, all right, know that Esau's had his foot at the doorstep before anybody, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can grab that scripture. Um, I believe it's in the book of Sirach. Let me see. <clears throat> here it is right here. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12. All right. Reading that verse 17. It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee, right? And, you know, scripture speaking about if he do of good, he do of unwillingly, man. All right, so Esau has these things where he would declare his wickedness, all right, and his evil intentions, you see? So you're going to find him there, all right, some way, somehow, always when these things are popping off, man. And look who's at, uh, who's at the front lines in the seat. Of what's going on? Who's who's informing you? Who's letting you know these things? Esau, man. Okay, and if he finds a moment, he will take he will take that moment to seize, man. So this is the devil, all right. This is this is the the wicked. This is the the the, the, the goddamn, you know, red red goddamn devilish devil who was looking um, you know, down on you as he bringing it upon you, man. This is this is the scripture say the wicked that that rule the earth today, you know, this is him. So let me grab this. All right, but bring it back to Micah, chapter uh, two, verse one, and it reads again: Woe unto them that advise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. And the scripture says that uh, in Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay? So, all these things line up. Okay? On, 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 on identifying who this devil is, man. Alright? Esau, you know, so-called white man. Well, let's grab this right here. And like I said, I'm going to make this too long. Got all this noise going on. You know, Jake right by the airport, so you know you'll hear all these planes. Um, let me see. All right, but this is uh the book of Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven, and it reads: It says, "Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Right? Okay. So ultimately. All right, brothers, that you know they're serving you how about some outside in truth and sincerity. All right, ain't gonna be so easily beguiled or we, we, we ain't gonna be taken by the, the, the these things because they're not gonna be ignorant of the Satan, uh, Satan's devices, man. All right, starting with the elders and apostles, great millstone and down, man. Okay, through the spirit prayer by Shemal Shah, we are able to see and, and decipher these things. All right, through the spirit, man. Okay, the, the evil works of Esau Edom, man, and his and his corruption. And his deception 
that he continued to conquer up, all right, until his ending destruction. You see? So he's only going to start giving himself more and more away. And we're going to be able to see it more and more through the spear and prayer by Shema Shai, which is going to lead up and tie to according to prophecy. You see? So brothers ain't going to be ignorant to these things. We're going to be ignorant to these things, man. That's why we uh, do the spear and prayer by Shema Shai, you know. Um, you know, the Lord is speeding up these times, man. All right, that he speed up the times even much faster. All right, that we be able to get the hell up out of here because he's running. This double's running out of. He's running out of ideas. He's running out of plans. He's running out of uh, uh, evidence. Okay, he's running out of everything he can to to prove uh, prove his case, man, or defend his case. All right. So uh, we 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 have Yahweh Bashim Shai, Okay, to defend us, man. This devil has nobody but himself and his 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 weakling sword. All right, his weakling weapons. Okay, you how about Shema is going to, uh, 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 you know, intervene for us, brothers, man? I'd rather that we be that elect, you know. So this devil, this devil, run out of time, man. The scripture says he's going to come down having great wrath. Well, he's going to come down having great wrath because he's going to run out of things. Okay, he's going to be his, his back is going to be against the wall, as you know. The scripture says he's, he's, his days are determined, you know. So he's he's limited to what he can do so much to uh, 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 to further his kingdom. All right, but as in these times, man, we're not going to be ignorant to Satan's devices, okay? Because Esau knows, uh, you know, he knows that uh, uh, the things and information that's out here now, all right, is is just only just getting him caught up. Okay, so he has to pull some global, international concern uh, to the masses of the people to 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 the, the, to, to misdirect them, all right, to another uh, 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 pen to the image, man. All right, but there you have it. Okay, so Esau really ain't going nowhere, man. All right, he ain't fooling nobody. But this is again is something that he will use to his advantage, which uh, rather, you know, Esau pulling some type of deception, or we know through the spirit that everything is done through the spirit prayer by Shemuel Shai. It's it's all working in the favor of the truth, man. You can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. At any day, the Lord said He's gonna bring these plagues upon this place, but proceeding to what? I'm uh. I'm going to close it out with this. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15, starting at verse, let me see, verse 5. And it says, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world and sword, famine, death, and destruction. Now, what did it say about these cases that's going up in number? Okay, well, we've seen what the whole scene 19 thing led it to. All right, but you see these cases of what that happened with, um, uh, uh, that's going on with this, um, M, M Pox, man. It is reaching up 15,000. Deaths are running up 500 and more, and it's going to continue to grow. All right. Hey, the Lord is, uh, uh, shaking this place up, man. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, Shai, I will bring, we'll say, I will bring plagues upon the world. So if it's some type of uh, thing that's going on here, that is shaking up plagues, diseases, hey, the Lord said he's going to bring these type of things, man. And it's only going to get worse. It said, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So death and destruction is to come, is, 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 is to, come to this place known as America, man. And it says, for verse 6, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled so you have it where these devils hey man they in there they in there got them uh mad max labs creating up these different type of uh diseases all right esau spreading it out there putting it out there you know he uh you got the uh, billy gates over there creating these and and, and and poking people with these uh diseases all right, these fatal diseases, man. All right. Hey, yo, this devil's got to go. 
this is all of his wickedness because he he he's uh he's 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 deteriorating man in other words okay he's deteriorating his power is deteriorating his structure's deteriorating okay him as an individual them 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 themselves is deteriorating man all right it's over and just grabbing that word deteriorating all right it says uh becoming progressively worse okay so it's it's getting worse for him okay Esau Edom that individual himself and his his his, uh, his companions all right that are associated with him you see so you know that was the spirit man you know uh, to go into that you know Lord when you were edified and exhorted through the spirit and prayer by Shema Shai okay hey man you know this devil could possibly use this to his advantage or not right the scripture says for we are not ignorant of Satan's devices and not to be uh, ignorant of uh, small or great okay so just wanted to bring that out you know once again giving all glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua by Hashem once again double answer those an apostle great millstone teach you well till next time I say Shalom